Hello and welcome to Todd versus BBD. Today we're going to be playing some standard, and I got a little bit of a doozy. Uh, bringing back my, my Boo Insole Artifact with uh, Heliod's Pilgrim. Uh, we're going to be splashing a little bit of red this time for Shrapnel Blast and Jeskai Charm. So maybe a sideboard card or two. Brian, what are you playing? Uh, I am also playing a bit of a doozy. I am playing Ollie and Trazi's Blue Black Control Deck. Blech. That he played in. The old what, what was that? You're not, not excited about Blue Black Control? It's not that I don't like Blue Black Control. It's that I don't know if I could ever play a deck that had four Treasure Crews and four Dig Through Time. I don't know if I could either. That's why I'm going to do it today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's four crews, four dig, uh, a lot of hand disruption, yeah. and a couple of ways to win. Yeah, it's not your your average blue black control deck. It doesn't like to play the Drago game that much. Uh, your opponents can't really sit on their hands and wait, you know, until they have like just a stockpile of threats to play in one turn. Instead, they all he has just eight discard spells in the main deck with, uh, you know, eight big draw spells after that, and he just, he can run you out of cards and then still have a handful of removal spells, so it's yeah, kind of I mean, cool. He's he's definitely able to draw cards himself, you know, with four treasure cruises and four dig through time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, well, uh, that's the matchup. Let's get to the games. All right, we are here for the first game. I won the die roll, and this hand is uh, a little expensive. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to give it a roll. <laughs> average casting cost, or average converted mana cost, like eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my hand is, it can go either way. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good start, but we'll see. We really want to draw an insole artifact or a land, so I'm good. All right, well, I'll start things off by going to 17 life. Oof. Well, that's a that could be a pretty dirty hand. I think that I have to take that ornithopter. Yes, <laughs> we did it, boys. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Mission accomplished. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Yeah, that's, that's fine. All right, that ornithopter would wreck me. Oh, you gotta be kidding <laughs> me. There you go. That's a that is a tilt right there. All right, this, this draw. Word, I don't think it means what you think it. All right, I guess I will despise you and take your Heliod's Pilgrim. Okay. And I'll scry, and... I think that I have to bottom this at this stage of the game. You're up. All right, I'll draw. Interesting. Pick my hand up now. Uh, we are just going to equip attack for two, down to 15. I'm going to play a Mana Confluence, and if he wants to downfall the Ornithopter, I might be okay with that, but I kind of want to hold up God's Willing in case he does. If I draw a land, I can play the other Ghostfire Blade and equip it. I think I'm just going to take one and cast this, though. Thank Kay. you. Go ahead. The fact that he took the first one means that he might not have a downfall. But oh, we just ripped one. Okay. I'm just going to do that right now. You're up. Smart play. All right. Ornithopter? Want one. Go. <laughs> that is a lot of Ghostfire Blades. <laughs> Come on, um... I don't know what stuff. Um, here, I think that I am going to actually just treasure cruise. Okay. Yep. One, two, three. You're up. Whew, that was real bad. <laughs> Should have dig through times. Yep. Yeah, we're not going to make that same mistake again. Here All we right. go. Oh, uh, that's really bad. Cool. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I could have drawn worse cards in that series of exchange. Um. I guess I'll play a polluted delta and say go. I will fetch. Okay. Eighteen. Get an island. Not good plans. Uh, equip these two. Yep. Attack for six. I'm at nine. Here go. If I had dig through timed instead of cruise, it would have been a lot better for me. But at that point in time, I didn't really know what I was looking for. Yep. And unfortunately, I drew some real stinkers. 
Um, go. Oh, actually, uh, sorry. I should despise you, just in case you have a creature in there. All right, you did. Good. Yep. All right. Lucky. Yep. Deck for six. <coughs> Three. <coughs> All right, I will cast a Phyrexian Revoker. Okay. I will name Perilous Vault. Okay. Here you go. I will double fetch. Here at one. Feel like a, a dig through time, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Not even sure what we can possibly draw to not die here, but we'll, we'll make an attempt at it. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say thought these would be good, but you're at one, so like you can't even get the uh, the gods willing out of my hand. Yep. All right, so let's dig. Six, seven. Well, it's six six spells. So, uh, all right. Well, we have to take the well. What do we even take? Probably these two. If I was at two, we could maybe do this. I guess I'll take these two and hope to rip something. Love to hear that. I wanna dig through times and it's like, well, gotta rip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, didn't, dead. What was in your hand? If you don't mind my asking. All lands. And the two cards <laughs> I took from Dig. Okay. Yeah. All right, I had a mulligan to six, and this hand's not great, but it's definitely not a mulligan, so I'll keep. Uh, my hand is really weird. We want to draw at least one way to make these ornithopters good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'll scry. Okay. It is another land, which I don't need. Bottom. All right, uh, ornithopter, island. I don't really want to play the second ornithopter. Even though he has a lot of discard spells, I don't really need to run my guys into Bob Blight and Drown Sorrow. So if he kills that one, then I'll play the other one. But. All right, we'll scry again and bottom them that. Okay. <laughs> Go. Okay. Interesting. What should we draw on that last turn? We'll play this. Springleaf drone pass. Alright. Well, I'll go ahead and thought seize you. Rats. Stubborn denial, God's willing, ornithopter, pilgrim land. Alright, well we'll take the pilgrim. And weird. Yeah, it's a, it a weird <laughs> it's a weird take. You're up. Not gonna be a. Let's see. I'm gonna get planes. Play here with this pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it wasn't a five-five coming right off the top. That's true. I would have loved that. All right, we'll go get a uh, an insult artifact. All right. And sure go. I love that that's just happened both games. I thought he's a card you draw at the next turn. Yeah. Oh man, and now I know that this just doesn't do anything either. Uh, but I'm still going to just. Despise you. Take that ornithopter. Yep. Yep. And uh, you're up. All right. Here's a weird situation. So if I target the springleaf drum with insul artifact, he can't bile blight, and I don't have to actually burn my God's willing yet to protect it. So I'm going to target the Spring Life Drum. Okay. And I'll attack for six. Twelve. Here we go. Go. Attack for six. Here is downfall of this thing. And... So the Stubborn Denial can counter, like, a Dig Through Time or something next turn, and I kind of want to scry, so I'm going to protect. Uh, this is the top card. I think I'm going to keep it because we're going to be getting pretty low on life, so I'm going to keep it. Take six down to six. Yep. Okay. All right, 
I'm dead. So I'll start because mine's super easy. Uh, my deck does not have a whole lot to bring in this matchup uh, because we have a whole lot of counter spells and big fat guys. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to make the swap of Stubborn Denial for number four for the Stratus Walk since doesn't really have any way to come up the ground and this is a liability if he has a removal spell. So. Alright, so I'm cutting Ashiok because he has no v valuable creatures in this deck. I mean, you could go get... Or like, steal my Helios Pilgrim and search, and up, then search nothing. up nothing. Yeah. Maybe if you had Chain of the Rocks in your deck, it'd be great. But. Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, and then Despise because he has too many spells. Like, I kept drawing Despise and I kept basically, like, not bricking, like, I was hitting things, so they just didn't matter. Well, I was immediately drawing that card the next turn twice. That's true. So, yeah. and actually, then, all three times because. One of the times where you took my Heliod's Pilgrim, my next draw was Heliod's Pilgrim, but oh, I couldn't right. cast it that next turn. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. you made me discard that one like two turns later. So. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to bring in some Drowned Sorrows. And I like Prolic Ancient a lot, actually, so <coughs> we're going to be on the old Prolic plan. Cool. We're killing him. Perilous Vault seems pretty bad for me. Hopefully, I'll draw Stubborn Denial. Or just put pressure on you real fast. All right, well, I'm going to try this hand because. I think that this is just an average hand for this deck. <laughs> just having like a million cards that cost eight. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, um, I mean, this is like what all my hands have looked like. It's not a good hand, but we're going to keep. Yeah, mine's fine. Uh, we have a not an explosively fast start, but a decent start. So. All right. Let's try to break it up. All right. Probably want to take this guy. But I um... Yes, I'll take. Yeah, I'll take the revoker. You're up. All right. <laughs> Go. Bang. All right. Well, thoughts easier again. Right. Sixteen. I'll scry. Bottom. You're up. Insole artifact. Rats. All right, uh, quip tech. 14. Let's go. I will go to 15, you're up. Draw. Uh, tech. 13. Here we go. And draw. <laughs> go. This is going to be a weird game, isn't it? No, <laughs> it's just going to be a bad game. Tech. 11. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fetch an island and say go. Okay. Go. 11 to 19. Alright. Give me a big draw. That's about as big as they get. <laughs> Nine. Here you go. I don't, how did all these deck ever win if it could never beat a lone ornithopter with a ghost fire bug? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to pass to you. Upkeep. Um, we'll dig through time in your upkeep. It resolves. All right. Yes. See if we can find something in these cards. <laughs> so far, we're bricking. Oh, wow. That's unreal. That's just six lands. And <laughs> An Ir irrelevant card. All right, we'll take, we'll take the irrelevant. We'll take the irrelevant card and. <laughs> oh, yeah, <Trisha> <laughs> I don't. Uh, which of these lands? I don't want to take a fetch land because that increases his clock. Yep. So I guess I'll take a scry lands. No, I'll just take an untapped land. I think it's just better to take an untapped land. All right. All right. We got four pilgrims, four insult artifact, four shadow blast, a Jeskai charm. Seven. seven. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we bricked again. <laughs> Best day of my life. <laughs> um, I'll pass. And you're up, keep. I'll dig again. Uh, sure. All right. Okay, well, these are things we can actually cast some of these. So I want to take. I want to take these two because I want to protect this card with this card. So we'll take these two 
and okay. proceed. Now, I have a ton of mana. I haven't drawn a card yet. I have two gods willing to scry, and I have... Uh, I can cast both of them to find a Heliod's Pilgrim, and I still have enough mana to... Oh, wait. No, that was fine. I could, yeah, enchant the Ornithopter, and then it'd be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, I can also find a Shrapnel Blast or an Insult Artifact itself, and since he just dig through time twice, I think while he's tapped out, I just gotta dig for the kill. Alright, put a, this on bottom. Alright, we found it. I'll kill you. Killer! Alright, this hand is... Again, a little bad, but we're gonna we're gonna ro roll with it. So uh, I'm just gonna say yellow clock, because I don't have an artifact, but I'm on the draw again. So yeah, whatever. All right. Seventeen. All right. You have a clock. It's me. Thought using you. Uh, I think that I take. I'm just gonna take the insole. Just in case. Tight play. Yep. Here you go. All right. <laughs> Dodge the bullet. One of one bullet. All right, let's go ahead and scry. And I think I need to hit land, so we'll bottom it. You're up. Um, you go. 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 Come on, Ornithopter. Fudge. Never, never thought I would ever say those words. An island. And then scry. A weep. And. Nope. We want lands. Go. Go. If I lose this game. <laughs> this, may, this may be the one you get, bro. I may get this one. I'm at 17. Go. <laughs> My hand's really not that good, so. Alright. Well, we might get this in play. So, Perilous Vault. Yeah, I can't win. Alright, go. We snuck it through. Take one. Heliod's Pilgrim. Yep. I will just go get an insole artifacts. I take one, let's see, I'm at 19, and uh, I'll just say go. Alright, thought sees you. Okay. All right. Fifteen. Yep. So you have a lot of stuff. I will take your in soul artifacts, and I will drown in sorrow. Scry. Um, I don't think we want that. I will bottom that. You're up. Summer now looks kind of embarrassing in this spot, not gonna lie. So he can. I'm gonna make the same mistake I made the first game. So we'll see if the, I get punished for it, which I probably will. Uh, I'm gonna treasure cruise. Oh, yep. And I wanna leave up two because he has multiple stubborn denials. Two, three. Alright, we drew spells that time, so. Uh, it's 16. 16. You're up. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. I will pass the turn. I will just go charm you. I'll take two. So 17 to, four, to 12? Yep. Play a Helios Pilgrim. Resolves. Then sword Artifact and pass. Um. I 
I will buy all your Heliots program. Okay. And on tap. Draw. So oh, wait, I have to take a damage for this, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Attention. So you're 16? Yep. Alright, so I know you have three denials, two God's Willings, and in souls at your entire... You have seven cards or six? I have seven. So there's one I don't know. Um, I'll just pass the turn. I guess we'll force him to use two stubborn and else. I'll Lively. dig. <laughs> yep. I'll fetch. I go to uh, 15. Yep. I should have done that in response to your discard charm. I just blinked on it. But draw. Spawn with Bioblade. I will take one and God's willing. Going to 14. I will respond to that with Bioblade again. I'll respond with God's willing again. I'm at 13. Yep. Alright, I will scry twice, I guess. Or pro black first one, scry. Uh, leave this on top. Pro white second one? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pro blue second one, I guess. Okay. Alright, uh, sure go. Alright. Untap draw. Oh, we'll pass the turn. Alright, I will attack for two. Okay. Two to ten? Yep. Play Helios for red. I will test for white. Right. Sorry. Going to 12. Alright, we got another insult. And yeah, sure go. So you have two insoles in your hand? Yep. Yeah. I know you have, still have one more of those things. Um, I will. I will end a turn dig. Uh, leaving one up. How many cards do you have in? I have four. <coughs> Counter it. Okay. Yeah. So two and souls draw. Go. Attack three. I will flash in Pearl Lake Ancient and block your Heliots program. Okay. Take two down to eight. eight. Yep. <coughs> Go. Okay. Think of what's the best play here. I'm at eight. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm just gonna die to like another Jessica charm or something if I do that play. Um, but I think either way, I'm. Take a hit. Uh, all right, let's float some mana here and I'll pick up Pearl Lake Ancients. Yep. And then I will, yeah, vault. 
And you played all four of your stubborn nails, I'm pretty sure, so. Yep. We'll just go ahead and play another Volt. Yep. You're up. Well, let me sold this and hit you for five. Three. Here we go. Four. Four. Four, four to twelve. Yep. Go. Back. Blow it. Go. Okay. I will. Five. Go to five and play Perilous Vault. Yep. Go. Draw. I'll try Revoker. Yep. Um, actually, see a shrapnel blast in his deck. I actually kind of want this card, so I'll leave it on top. Uh, another land gains life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a million lands, but just going to five is actually or going to six is important. Yep. Here's six. All right, I'm at six and go. Uh, I don't think I have an out. Just ancient me twice. Yeah, Alright, <coughs> I'm gonna play here for game five, and this hand is really weird. I really hope I draw one of my eight really good cards, but probably won't. Alright, this hand's okay, I guess. I don't even know. So go. Alright, well let's we'll start <coughs> things off with fetch thoughts. Provoker, Shadow Blast, two lands, just got charm. 18. All right, well, we'll take the Revoker. Okie doke. So Jessica, Shrapnel, and two lands. Okay. I'm at 17, actually. Yeah. Finished. I will play Battlefield Forge and pass. Okay. Go. Take one Helios Pilgrim for Insoul. And pass. To 16 to 20. I don't want to draw any more lands, and I want to fill my graveyard anyway, so. You should be at 19, right? Yeah. I'm at 16? Yep. Alright. I will draw. That's reasonable. And then you had a Jeskai Charm and a Shrapnel Blast and, and another uh, Shiv and Reef, yeah. <coughs> and in Soul, actually. I oh, yeah, you know. I know, I know your entire hand. Lucky you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so. Alright, I think I just play this and say go. Target this. I'll negate. Okay. I played the island over a tap land in case he drew. Attack six. <laughs> sure. Shoot a tap. Yep. Here we go. Well, that's probably going to punish me unless I draw another. Now, since my hand has a bunch of burn spells, like I could have waited and put it on Dark Soul Citadel, but getting in the five damage there when I have nine points of burn in hand is pretty important. So, 11. Go. Upkeep. Attack. At five. Yep. All right, play another pilgrim. Take one. Seventeen. Um. Yep, that's fine. Insole go. Alright, so I will say that Ollie's deck felt really, really, really clunky. It did, yeah. And my deck felt really, really, really bad against discard spells, but I, since your deck was anemic, like, 
I was able to claw back eventually with such hits as a 2-4 flyer attacking you. For like 10, 10, yeah, 10 just, turns. Just, just, <laughs> yeah, just like 7 turns straight, Ornithopter beats. Yep. Um, I don't know, my deck felt kind of cool, but not necessarily something I would ever want to play in a tournament again. Uh, I don't know if you notice about me. Me and Ornithopter have a death pact. I will never play home in a constructed match of magic, sanctioned match of magic again, uh, simply because of bad past experiences. And you can make all these arguments like, oh, you can't be results oriented when it comes to that stuff, but it's no two, man. It doesn't do anything. You have to play it in decks that have to have synergy, and standard is not about synergy. That's all I got. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that I will ever play blue-black control. <laughs> like, nothing nothing against, like, I, I, I actually think that his list is kind of cool. Yeah, I do too. But, but I just <laughs> will never play blue-black control. Like, it just doesn't matter how far ahead you are. You can just lose to any deck in the format. So, you can dig through time, and it's a drown in sorrow, and six lands when your opponent's beating you down with a two-four flyer, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then you lose. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, hope you guys had fun watching today. Uh, we were uh, not goofing off as much as we could have been, I guess. But you know, sometimes you got to bring your your business suit to work. So eight eight drops. Didn't match up against in Solar Artifact. <laughs> yeah, I may have mis misplayed this one a little bit. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time with another Versus video. Check out our articles on Star City Games uh, throughout the week. I'm Todd Anderson for Brown Brown Doing, and we'll see you soon. See you.